October day nine. It is 5 38 p.m. And yeah, I just ate dinner. I just had leftovers. I did not cook. They were the chicken and rice was delicious the second day. I just put a little chicken broth in it and heated it up in the microwave and stirred it and heated it up again. Perfection, still delicious. Um I just want to say, it's very overcast here from the hurricane, I believe. Um, I'm in southwest Georgia. We're not going to get anything from the hurricane, but I can't imagine what people in Florida are dealing with right now. I know it's scary, and my thoughts are out to all of you in Florida that's dealing with this. I know it sucks. Hopefully, everybody gets out with minimal damage. But, I'll be thinking about y'all tonight. I know it's hitting tonight. It's going to suck. It sucks. I know it. Because hurricanes come through here sometimes. And they aren't good at all. We've had so much damage from hurricanes in the past few years. And I never am excited when one comes around. Anyways, day nine. Katrinkles. I wish they would have more than just stitch markers in these little Katrinkle ones. I thought it was going to be like different kinds of notions, but. Oh, this is cute. It's not wooden. It's like a cat. Just like a cat or something. And it's acrylic. That's cute. Oh, I think it goes that way. Very cute. I like that. I am going to use these. I just. I'm throwing them in my bowl of stitch markers. I have a lot of stitch markers. And I think all these are stitch markers and not progress keepers. I don't know. They might be both. I have a lot of stitch markers. I really don't need more, but I thought it would be fun to have this advent. And I didn't know it was going to be all stitch markers, but it's okay. I'm enjoying it. Fangirl fibers. No spoilers today. I avoid spoilers. Yay. Ooh, what color is that? It's fun. It's like a coral. Pinky coral. Very nice. Like that. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. I still need to hang them all up. I'll do that. Maybe this weekend. Lamb strings. Cadaver. You see, getting a little bit darker. Once I hang these up this weekend, I'll take a little video of what they all look together fading. I really thought they would be more colorful. I knew they were going to be like moody colors, like darker colors, but I didn't know it was going to all be gray, which will be fine. I'll make for a really cool project. It won't be so contrasty. It'll be very fade. I could, like, get a good sweater out of this, probably. Very nice. Today's yarns. Very happy. Very pleased. I like, I like, I like. Ooh, that got bright. I like. Put them back in. And, um, someone brought it to my attention in the comments. I have not opened Beach Bum Yarns yet. The box. Advent. I'm gonna do that now. Let's do that. I haven't even opened the box yet. So, I don't know if you've gotten one. If you have, and you haven't opened it, and you don't want to see it yet, avert your eyes. This is the last thing I'm really going to talk about besides my day, so. Thank you for joining. Let's open it up. 
there's a bag in there. Please read before opening. I don't want, I'm reading it to myself just in case there's like something that it Advent will begin on October 18th. So in nine days. Ending on Halloween when revealing your full skein. Do not look into your mystery bag. See the ga game of fate rules in your mini advent box. I don't know. That, it's got like a little instruction manual on it, which I love. That's great. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Look, it's full of goodies. I'm not going to open it until the first day of Advent, but I just want to look at the bag. I'm not going to look in it. Moon and Cat. That's so pretty. Oh, I needed this today. This made my day. Ain't that pretty? It's full of stuff. Ooh. Very well packaged. I'm impressed. I will read the instructions again later. I'm not opening anything right now, but look how well packaged that is. Beach Bum Yarns. It's Arsenic Poison. I don't, I don't know what all that is. I think there's instructions in one of these. I don't know. We will open it starting the 18th. Fun. Oh, that was really exciting. I didn't think it was going to be all that. I thought it was just yarn. I didn't know there was goodies. Fun. Today was a day. Work was work. And it wasn't like work. It was drama work. And if anybody knows me, I avoid drama at all costs. I'm not petty. I, do, I avoid drama at all costs. I do not like it. And today was full of drama. Crying, complaining, upset, Bob. Not me. Well, I got kind of upset from all of that, but I'm like, I just I couldn't. I, my nerves can't handle that. So I think I got it all calmed down by the end of the day. I don't know, but maybe tomorrow will be better. Yeah. I have not knit one stitch this week, not even at work at lunch. I have lost my knit knitting mojo, so there will not be a new podcast this week again. I'm very sorry to those that like the podcast, the weekly Saturday morning podcast, but between doing this and work lately, I'm kind of burnt out. I am going to try to knit a little tonight. I did start, I meant to bring it in here. I started on the emotional support ghost smile that's going on. Uh, Nicole of Witch and Knitting Mama is hosting it in her Ravelry group. And there's a hashtag on Instagram. I will list it all below in the description box. But I did start on it. I finished the arms and started the body. Like last week in the night. So I did do that. I need to finish this ghost before the end of the month. Because on Halloween is the last day of the mile. So, if y'all want to enter the Emotional Support Ghost Mile, see the info below and it will link you to where you need to go. And follow Nicole on Witch and Knitting Mama. She is doing Vlogtober as well and she has a Fangirl Fiber Monsters Ink Advent she's opening every day. Which has been beautiful so far. Well, no plans tonight besides trying to knit. Or falling asleep again. I don't know. I was so tired this morning. I didn't start waking up till about 1 o'clock today. That's when I felt awake. I was so, I was a zombie all morning. I feel better today. I'm not like... I took Sudafed. And after I took Sudafed, I felt better. But my mouth is still itchy. And I think my husband knows why. I am allergic to fruit. It's a mild allergy. But we've been eating that blueberry cobbler dump cake thing for the past few days. And it started around then. So I think it's in my system. 
and it's just my allergies. Usually when I eat fruit, my tongue and my lips and my ears itch, but my lips and my tongue is just driving me crazy. So I think the fruit allergy is in full swing right now. So, I think we got to the bottom of that. I took two Benadryl when I got home. I forgot I took Sudafed earlier. I don't know if you can take Benadryl and Sudafed together. Ooh. I didn't think about it. Whoops. But I took Benadryl to calm my allergies down. Has not kicked in yet. It doesn't make me tired at all. It just helps my allergies. Yeah. Alright, well I hope y'all have a good night. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.